la tapa de arroz, que no paella. La paella es de una zona eh, costera uh, española. I'm going to be doing a rice dish this afternoon, which is nada paella. We're doing it, uh, the paella is of a different kind of a dish. This is a rice dish. Este arroz es de la zona sur. This is from the south. This is from the south of Spain. Hecho con un maravilloso eh, cerdo español. Made with a delectable Spanish pork. En este caso, costilla y un caldo hecho con el propio hueso y la careta del, del cerdo. This is a um, done with the pork ribs. We've used pork ribs and the soup that we have, that we've just added, it has uh, used the, we've boiled the bones, the pork bones, um, in it. He's, as you see, he's adding the hot caldo to the rice. Añadimos el caldo al arroz eh, con sofrito, en el sofrito hemos puesto eh, cebolla, pimiento, eh, berenjena. Ok, he has made a sofrito. Sofrito es like how you start many Spanish rice dishes where you take your uh, onions and you fry them and saute them a little bit uh, with some, in this case he's put red bell peppers and some eggplant. And to that, he's uh, added the rice, and now he's put in the, um, I would say, the soup or the caldo. He dicho eh, arroz no paella porque eh, a los valencianos no le no le ponen cebolla a, al arroz porque dice que ablanda el grano. Eh, I said it's a rice and not paella because the valencianos say that if you you don't you should not add onions to the rice because it makes the rice Hablando al grano. Ah, it makes the rice grain too soft when you add onions according to them. Bueno, contaros que eh, el lugar donde yo vivo. In the area where I live, eh, nos reunimos eh, los días de fiesta. We get together during fiestas, days, uh, holidays. Para tomar para tomar el, eh, en familia el arroz. We get together during holidays so that we can enjoy uh, the rice together as a family. Hay, hay mucho, eh, mucho tipo de arroz. There are many, many different ways of making the rice, many different recipes, many different kinds and varieties. Recuerdo uno magnífico de poliflor con bacalao y, y jamón eh, blanco. I do remember something absolutely delicious, which is uh, the rice with bacalao and jamón and, and cauliflower. Eh, el río grande, eh, donde 
Pérez en Boca. Eh, hay un maravilloso árbol por favor. In the Rio Grande, where in the mouth is, there's a really great production of arroz bomba, like rice bomba. Rice bomba. Arroz 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 bomba
The dish is hot, so do be careful. Put a little bit of the mayonnaise with the garlic, a little dot to give it an extra zinc. The meat that we've used for the dish is pork ribs and so what you can do is once you've cut off the meat and sliced it thinly, you can then, that's when you take the pork ribs, you put them in the oven and you roast them. In roasting them, then you add water to that and you reduce it and that's what you can use as an additional flavoring instead of sticking in MSG or something like that. Well, and for those that have tried, you know the drill, let me know, what do you think? Can I, have, can I get your opinion, please? Muy delicioso. Muy sabroso. Muy sabroso, dice el Muy bien. It's very tasty. Muy sabroso. Very tasty. Don't worry, we have enough for everybody. Just a moment while we play. Um, let me get you here because you tried it. Yeah, my goodness. Okay, and what do you? Better than risotto. Ah, mejor que un risotto. Oh, que bien, me alegro. Me alegro. Absolutely no artificial flavorings have gone into, uh, into the seasoning. We use salt, pepper, paprika. And then, as far as vegetables, it's been the onions and then the, the garlic that went into the mayonnaise and the herbs that you see on top sprinkled. But uh, no, and you get that additional flavoring from the reduction of the pork bones. Yes. He's, uh, a chef has made the dish in front of you so that you see, and with his assistant, so that you see that there's absolutely no magic tricks involved. Everything is simple and easy enough for you to repeat at home. Vuelvo a repetir un poco. Un sofrito con cebolla, ajo, berenjena, pimiento y chorizo. Let me repeat. It's been a sauté of uh, onions and garlic and paprika and uh, eggplant and a little bit of chorizo. To that you add a little bit of white wine. We let that reduce. We add the rice. We mix it up a little bit. And then we add the soup, the clear soup, until the rice grain is at its uh, perfect uh, texture. <laughs> El caldo es la... De los huesos de la costilla del cerdo español. Ok. The caldo, the, the, the clear soup that went into the cooking of the rice, comes from having boiled also the rib bones in water. And that is just that. That's the caldo that's added to the rice.